Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. Today I thought we'd have a look at terminating some MC4 connectors. This time using this new kit from Klein Tools. It's an 8 in 1 kit. It's not available until the 1st of July, I believe. You can pre order through CEF online. I think if you speak to your branch manager, they can sort it out as well for you on the wholesale counter. But you can see here, this is a solar kit in terms of your crimping, tightening, basically everything you're gonna to need to be able to make off an MC4 connector. Now, this has been innovated by the team from Super Rod and Klein Tools UK. It is all metric. I'm gonna unbox it, show you what's in it, and then we will run through how to actually make off an MC4 using it. So, without any further ado, let's dive into the box. And straight away, one of the best things I like about this is that it comes in this bag. Now, there was an option from the American market which had a hard shell plastic case. However, this is infinitely better. We can put these in our kit boxes. Nothing's gonna get damaged. You can tether it and take it up onto the roof with you with everything protected from the worst of the elements in one handy little bag of its own. If we go into the back side of it, there is a few different tools in this kit and these are all packaged because I'm yet to use it. So you'll be able to see with me how yours will come as well. But you've got your stripping tool here and this does 2.5, uh, four mil, six mil. And I think it also does eight mil, which is a weird one for the UK market because the cable sizes tend to go up to 10. However, it is quite rare unless you're on some of those bigger commercial jobs. And I'm sure Klein Tools will develop that to include 10 mil stripping, either in this tool or another as time moves along. But we'll have a look at that at the minute. We tend to use six mil just as standard now on all of our resi systems. Not really delved into the world of commercial solar as yet. It's more than adequate for us. We've also got our compact cable cutter from Klein Tools. And again, you've got your soft grip handles on there and this will do copper and aluminium which is handy for some of the solar cables as you can see on there then got a little nut driver set and this maybe isn't something you need specifically for your mc4 connectors but they put it in the kit nonetheless because with your rail and mounting systems you tend to have some uh, nuts that are in there and this does 7 to 17 millimeter in the range. So it's one that's handy to have on your roof kit. Um, and again, I'm sure there'll be other variations of this that develop in time. This is just the kit that has come out for the present moment. So we've got those ones over there and that's one side of the bag now empty. If we delve into the other side, I believe this is where the crimping tool is and other such things. So you've got your tether inset and that again, you can put onto the bag or the tools individually if you wish just a way to make sure none of that is going to drop off the roof. Because obviously working at height, we don't want these things to be spilling down onto people on the ground. We've then got the all important crimp tool. You'll see here, this is for the um, UK market and it does 2.5, four and six mil. So again, with your crimper and your stripper, everything you need in that size range is contained in the kit. And we then got our tightening tools. So these, again, I like. I've used these already in their, their own um, right, but also quite recently at the CEF live show. And I like that you've got the rubberized handle on there, but also that you've got the metal grip for the actual back body of the MC4. And I'm pointing out with these, because there's so many versions of MC4s now, it's really hard to get one tool that'll do them all. We tend to stick with Stabaloo now and um, these will do the Stabilo MC4 connectors as we'll demonstrate through the course of this video. So I'll get some of these opened up now. And we'll run through making up an MC4 and see what we make of it all. So before we move on to demonstrate the actual um, operation of all these tools, I thought I'd show you the back of the box, some cool pictures on there, which will kind of set out how you would use those, uh, which is pretty nice actually. It's a good demonstration of the tools. Um, just on the box itself. So there's obviously been a lot of thought put into the packaging with this and it's really, really noticeable. The packaging is quality. I'm sure the tools will be quality as well. Let's find out. First up, pop the tether on the bag. See it's clipped on there. There's plenty of adjustment as well if you wanted to use that on other things. And you can hook this onto whatever you like. Different ways of setting that up. But that's what I've gone for on the bag itself. We'll now get ready 
and take on the MC4. So I've got all the tools just to one side of me here. We'll run through them one at a time. Got the cable cutters, shears. These are again Klein tools, nice handles, really um, robust and free moving, which is what we want. And really we're looking for a dead straight square and flat cut. You can see that has given us that handsome. That is absolutely pristine. So we then need our cable cutters. And I have set these with the cable stop that you can see it comes with. This is adjustable, so if you want different stripping lengths, you can do it. Um, you can use the cutter through the middle here as well, which is for copper only. So if you want to um, cut your actual copper cables in here, you can do. Obviously, I've used the shears to give us a nice straight cut. If I bring this in the right way so you can see that. If I bring this in, you can see here we've got the blades on there, which do our 8, 6, 4 and 2.5. So we need the second to last hole, which is this one, if I get it in. And you can see I've adjusted this uh, stripping length here to the required size we need for these MC4s. So we pop it in, squeeze, and that gives us a nice clean cut and strip every single time. And that's reliable across the entire uh, MC4s you're going to make off. So you know without adjustment of the tool or ironing it in with your croppers, you get exactly the same cut on those each and every time. So I think that's pretty useful. Um, you'll know from content I've shared before that I do like to use the old croppers for stripping um, the DC cables. It's just the way I've always done it, but that doesn't mean it's the right way when you want to have uh, a reliable way of making the same crimped connection over and over again. You want to be uh, looking at using that tool, I would say. So with the crimp itself, we've got this here. And you can see I've held it in on the six mil crimp inside. So if I again, if I come up close and try and show you this as best I can, we need to push the cable in the back of that body. You can see that's in there. And then once it's in there, squeeze and crimp. And we should have a solid crimp connection. You can see that there, there's no pull on it and the strands stop at the end of the crimp body. One of the mistakes people can make with these MC4s is to push the strands too far into the actual crimp. Uh, and with the females, especially if you go too far, you can then impede how all of this puts together. So that's that aspect of that done. So then we want to push the body over the actual pin so we get our click, as you can see we have done there. Tighten it up by hand and then we've got our spanner tool set here, which we can use to hold the connector and also come up on the back body and give it a little nip up. Now with these, there is torque settings, so you could use a torque wrench on the back body if you want. Um, however, you know, you kind of get a feel for it to be fair. What you want to avoid is overdoing it more than I would say underdoing it because you can start to strip the threads on these back bodies. So be careful with that. Um, that's why a lot of these torque tools exist. So you're not over tightening rather than under tightening. So now we've run through that one in a bit of detail, I will get the bits out for the other end, so the opposing end, and run through as fast as I can, making an end off just for you guys to watch that process to see how easy it is. It's really difficult to film making off an MC4 uh, when it's actually very straightforward to make off that connection and it's to kind of show you the, the repetition of it when you're up on a roof that it's pretty simple. So I will run through that right now as quickly as I can. So we'll cut the end flush, get our stripping tool, pop it into the right hole, which is the hardest bit for me with no glasses on. I've got that bit done. We then need the, the lug or the crimp, pop that into the tool the right way around. So we hold the body and it's in there. And then we know when we squeeze that up, it's gonna bend those around to give us a nice, neat crimp. Pop your cable in the end, squeeze it up. Again, give it a little tug test to make sure you've got your bend over on there that the cables are fully inserted and it's gonna go in, basically. And then push your lug in until you get your click, tighten your back body up, grab your tightening tools. Again, pop these over pop it up the back, give it a little nip till you're happy it's tight. Don't overdo it. 
You want the weather seal on there. You don't want to strip the threads. And then push them together. That's it. Job's a good one. Easy as that. So you can see when you're up there, really straightforward in using these. The hardest part is unboxing them and uh, filming them. It's actually really easy to use. So the things I like about these, croppers, super sharp, give you a really square cut on the end of your DC cables. Your strippers with the length, so you know you're gonna strip off the right amount of insulation every time without having to eye anything in, and it is a clean, sharp cut. Your actual crimper, which does the all important work of giving you a tight crimped connection. Really easy, you're not forcing these onto the lugs like some of the sets I've used from other brands. You have to really squeeze them to get them to crimp down. These are well ratcheted, it's nice and straightforward. With these, we like the rubber handles and also the metal teeth on these, so you're getting a good grip on the back of that body. They're really useful. The nut driver, which I haven't really shown on this because that's more for your roof mount system, but these all spin off. You can pop them on your impact driver and away you go. And they've got the all important 13 mil and 10 mils. They're the ones that typically get used up there on your roofing systems. And they're all there in a nice little easy to operate device. And then our bag with the tether, again, for it all to go away in, be stored up nice and safe, protected from the elements, pop it in your kit bag take it up on the roof. You're not going to drop it on anyone. Yeah, what's not to like about it? I think this is a really, really good kit and the price point is absolutely a bargain for what you get in all this. Um, I don't know if the price is shown on the city's website yet, so I won't say it in this video, but go off and have a look. Compared to some of the other kits that are out there, it has blown pretty much everything out the water, I would say, and fair play to Klein Tools for bringing that forward as a kit for us. It's got everything you need in there for not a lot of money for what you get go and check it out if you've got any questions around mc4s and how i've made them off in this video please do drop them in below if you want any other demos along these kind of lines add into the channel please do let me know mc4s should be carried out by qualified electricians they're one of the weak points along with dc isolators as the data shows us and usually that is because they've not been done correctly so you need the right tools the right person behind them and then you're not going to have a problem with any of those connections, ensuring they remain weatherproof, electrically safe, and protected from nibbling critters. Gives us a fighting chance of having PV systems that will work for the decades to come as they are intended. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.